Hello folks, uh, welcome back to A Different Take. I'd like to show you a couple of features that uh, I come up with a few years back with regards to uh, making it a little bit easier uh, to do cleanups uh, when you're painting. Uh, small projects, it doesn't matter what. Um, but basically what I do, just to make things a little easier, is, uh, well, Let's take, for example, this here. It's just a, a plastic tube. Uh, it, it, any of these tubes you can get from uh, any of the major grocery stores. They sell various products, whether it's hand wipes or, or whatever, in containers. And, and I just cut the containers. But the important thing with these tubes is that they're approximately in circumference either 10 around 10 and 1 8 or 10 and to, th to 10 and 3 8 it really doesn't matter somewhere in there and uh, I'll show you why that it's uh, kind of makes it a little easier um, what I do also um, before I start a uh, paint project is I, I prepare the, these uh, tubes that I, I've cut here and what I will do, for example, is, is this here, while it's still dry before there's any paint on it, I'll, I'll slip the bag over it and I'll just put it down in here like this. And then I just slide the plastic bag over the tube like that. It's pretty simple. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing a job with a, a nine inch roller or a two inch roller it really doesn't matter um, well I can show you with the two inch roller I just put it in the bag like that slip it in put it in the tube and it doesn't matter whether it goes in the big tube or the small tube just slip the bag over the top of the tube like this just makes it easier and then you can go about your painting job and uh, let's assume that uh, we're finished painting um, or maybe the phone goes um, maybe you're quitting for lunch and uh, you don't necessarily want to wash out your rollers um, this is just a good way of looking after them even if you want to use them the next day or two or three days later what I do is come back, assuming paint is, is on this roller, you've, you've taken most of it off. But then I just slip it into here like this, lift the tube up a little bit, bring the bag up and around like this, take the tube off. And then I just, uh, while I'm holding it like this, I just put a twist tie around it. Now. Keep in mind that it's air that dries paint out. And so there's many other mean, well, different, a number of different gadgets that you can purchase for 20 to $30 to put your paint roller in that's supposedly gonna look after it. It doesn't, they're not airtight. What I do is when the roller's wet with paint is I, I twist it like this to get all the air out and I squeeze the bag against the roller. And when you do that, it removes most of the air. So then upon doing that, I just put a twist tie on here like this and uh, just put it aside. It, you, can, you can lay it down like this, it doesn't matter. You, you can hook it on something like this, it, it, it doesn't matter. It can be two or three days even, and the paint won't dry. It's uh, the roll is ready to use again if you wish but it's just a simple way of, of looking after it um, like I say these tubes are anywhere from 10 and 1 8 circumference to 10 and 3 8 and uh, what I found was the plastic bags here they're just one mil bags you get a hundred for about five bucks or something I don't know they're pretty cheap and uh, six inches wide and 14 inches long and that'll cover anything you want to do. Even, even the little one here 
if it's come back, it's wet, you've been on the job kind of thing and you're breaking for lunch, whatever, you just slip it in, lift the bag up over the top, squeeze all the air out of the bag. The more air you get out of the bag, the longer the, the uh, roller's going to keep well without the paint drying. And so then I just slip a twist tie on it that uh, when, you, when, when the roller's wet and you squeeze the bag against it, it does remove all the air. The bag sticks to the roller, to the wet paint. And like I say, you just either can hang it up or do whatever. And the, the other nice feature with this is that if you do hang it like this, for example, and you go to use it, or let's say the next day you've finally realized you're not going to be using it again, if you remove the bag like this, just remove the bag, the paint's still in the bottom. And so any of that paint that's in the bottom of the bag can go back into the, into the paint can. And that way you're hanging on to some of it at least and not necessarily putting it down the drain. Now you can sort of just wring it out the best you can, just squeeze it all out and it does a great job of, of putting it back in the can. Um, yes, these, these are kind of disposed of, but um, anyway, they work well. What I also like to do is when I'm using a paintbrush, again, I'll use this same size bag in the same size tube. Just slip the top of the bag over the top like that. It's pretty easy to do. And then assuming you've come back from using your paintbrush and uh, you know the phone went or whatever, you're breaking for lunch, again, just slip it in the, and you can actually squeeze it so it fits easy. A four inch brush will work in here as long as you've got this kind of a diameter or circumference, it doesn't matter. And uh, you can just squeeze it a little, put the brush in, just put her in like that. Again, pull the bag up over it. And uh, just squeeze the bag around the brush, take all the air out of it. And again, put a twist tie on it. And uh, you, you'll get uh, two or three or four days with it like that without the paint drying. As long as the air is squeezed out of it, the, the paint won't dry. So uh, you can hang it up like that if you wish. And again, when you take the brush out of the bag, if there's any paint in the bottom of the bag, you can, you can just uh, turn it upside down and squeeze it into, the, into your paint can. So it's just a great way of looking after your paint rollers and your paint brushes. Um, these here, well, you can do the same thing with a, a one inch brush. It, it works just as easy, just as well. It, it's, a, it's just a great way of looking after your brushes and, and looking after your, your paint and your cleanups. So another little trick or, or idea I come up with a number of years ago while I was doing all this reno stuff is uh, something I, I use when I'm using a paintbrush. What I do is uh, I'll get some of this uh, blue tack. I don't know what, there's different names for it, fun tack or blue tack or whatever, and you don't need much. This is just, just a little piece. What I do is, is roll it out, work it a little bit just to soften it up. Roll it out. Try and get it uh, three inches long. Min minimum three inches long if you can. Then I'll stick it on the side of the paint can here. And kind of line it up with something if, if, you, if you can and, and just squeeze it against the against the uh, paint can and it doesn't matter if the labels on the paint can or not it really doesn't matter it doesn't make any difference 
I just put that there. This is prior to opening the can to, to start painting even. I put that there first. Then what I do, while it's still closed off and the paint's in it kind of thing, I'll take a look at this here and I'll, I'll see what length I need this for this here. And so I'll go like this and I know that it's got to be there. And you, you don't even have to turn it upside down. You can just put it like this and just press, press the wire into it. Just press it in hard, firm, like that. And it'll stay there. It's surprising how well it stays there. It's very tacky, this stuff. So anyway, you open the lid and, and you're doing your paint job and uh, the phone goes or, or whatever and somebody knocks on the door and you've got to go run to the door. So with the lid off, of course, I just hook the paintbrush on there and uh, it's just a simple thing to do. There's very little cost involved and it's just a, a neat, tidy little trick. And you can do it with any size brush in any size uh, can. I, I just uh, use a smaller, for example, I'll use, say, a small can here if I'm, I'm just uh, using a one inch brush. So I'll, first of all, I'll put this on here. Let's say I put it on this. I'll just roll it a little bit more first. There we go. And I'll just put it on here, line it up. It'll stick to the metal cans, it'll stick to the labels, it'll stick to the plastic cans, it doesn't matter, it sticks pretty good. Then with my brush, I'll determine what size rod I need. It looks like this one here. And so, yeah, that'll work. I just need to put it on the bottom there. And so I just press that in. Press it in good. And then you're ready to go to work. And it doesn't come off. I mean, if you want to use more of this blue tack, certainly go for it. But you sure don't need to use much. And it is reusable. So anyway, when, when you need a break or whatever, and you just want to hang your brush, it's pretty easy to do. It works great. So just a little trick or whatever, little tip. So um, I guess happy painting. <laughs>